When people think of hot cues, they usually think of jumping around the track real time or skipping parts of each track to maximize energy and even using hot cues to tease in words and do performance tricks. But I've come up with another really, really cool way to use hot cues that I've actually never seen taught before. So buckle up, this is set crafting on crack. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, I'm only joking, don't do crack. <laughs> anyway, okay, allow me to paint a picture for you. So you're preparing for a live set, perhaps you've left it to the last minute, you've got to play tonight. And you quickly want to not only find tracks that go well together, but perhaps actually test some transition points and find some really cool transitions that are really gonna wow your crowd. But the issue is, right, let's say you've been setting your cue point 16 bars before the places that you want to transition. Then sometimes in the set prep stage of this, you're left waiting for the transition point. And sometimes that transition point may not even sound good anyway. So the good news is I have another really fun way to approach testing your transitions. And that is start by setting cue points on all the major parts of the track. So for instance, set a cue point on the first beat of the verse, perhaps the first beat of the build up, the first beat of the drop. Basically any section that you think is interesting, but also making sure that it's the first beat of the phrase and to make it work, ideally the first beat of a new section in the track. And then when you're jamming, instead of mixing in and waiting to see if the transition is actually going to work, you can just quickly play the transition. Now, in this way, you could compare it to knowing the outcome first. And then if the outcome's good, you can then go back and map it with mix in and mix out cue points. As no doubt when playing live, you do want some time to beat match and to tease in your new track with cool EQ work, even time to add effects if you want to. But here's the thing, if you're in the preparation stage and you're kind of sick of waiting around to see if the transition's even gonna work or not, then this method can actually save you a lot of time. So let me jump in now and show you a few examples. So let's say I've got this one, see I've got there, there's pegadita, the, that pegadita, bit. Pegadita, right? I could drop pegadita, that on an outro. Pegadita, pegadita, that might be the pegadita, kind of thing pegadita, I planned for. Pegadita. Let's try that actually. So I'll go up here, I'll grab another one. Let's try and put that one on the outro. It wasn't, you know, I haven't really got anything planned here. Let's have a look. So maybe the outro might be about there. I'll just have a guess, let's just see. Not bad. I'd be like, oh, okay, it's all right. Let's try something else. How about we go the other way around? This one's playing. How about I go the other one? That's actually good. I like that one better. So you just don't want to explain that one quickly. So if I set my cues, then this is what would have been happening. My cue would have been there. That, uh, that, I imagine that 16 bars before that point, I just sort of no music. And what would have happened was, this would be my standard mix. Oh, okay, cool. And then a beat match. Okay. And then this is the bit that I'm talking about the waiting. I'm like, oh. Is it going to work or not? So I'm there and I'm like, doing my advanced tree. Okay, and then I'd be like, okay, is this going to work? That's actually cool. So I'm like, well, okay, that could work. I'm going at the easy point though. I've been going on the outro. Let's try some other ones. Okay, cool. How about I try and put verse on verse? Let's do this one. This one got, oh, okay, let's go A in here, this little break here. Let's see what happens. not really doing EQ work again. It's more like just to kind of like feel the vibe. See, it'd be better if I was mixing in over. But again, it's just to kind of test points. That could work, keep the energy going. And if I'm looping.
went on a complete tangent then, but and just sort of showing you, and I was like, oh, okay, that was kind of using hot cues, but then I was using hot cues and looping, and it, uh, that's what I mean. I think sometimes it's just, okay, this here, okay, talking like we're friends, but I've got my hot cues on the main bit, and I can just sort of jump around and experiment with stuff, but then I find in life, just by experimenting, then this is what happened then, that was not planned at all. So just by experimenting, then it's like the ideas come. So say with procrastination, I'm going on a tangent, and that is, let's say sometimes just to get started, and I always say this, okay, let's say you, you start, and you starting, let's say as a metaphor, is a thread, okay? I find when I start, then the universe comes and meets me, and together we can turn that thread, and I made this up, that thread into a rope of productivity. So just by starting then and having hot cues on the main bits, I'm all of a sudden, I'm not waiting for bits, I'm just sort of jamming, having some fun. And I'm like, oh wow, and then I went on this tangent just because the world was meeting me. I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. And if I like that, well then I'd probably go set my memory cues and I'd probably map it, put it into order, and maybe just do that a few times. But again, I'm like, wow, okay, here's the potential of using hot cues to kind of like test certain parts of the song. And see if the job's not doing much, listen, that's the drop on its own. Maybe we had some echo. Maybe good for a tease. I don't know, that actually worked well as a tease. Let's see then, how about I mix now on C. How about I put C, that, that's, we're going there, and I put this C on that C, let's just see. I could fast forward to it, let's see, C. i oh, joking, you got the C, I'll put the C here. Let's stop it. See, even that is a platform. Let's go C on C. Be kind of mindful here. I could always, if I'm worried. And let's say I really like that one and I want to go set, turn those into cues, okay? So, first of all, I'm on C here and I'm like, I like that point, that's where I want to mix. So I go stop, I've got, let's go here to that point. And personally, I'd just jump across to export mode, to be honest, but let's say you want to do on here. If I went to export mode, now I go into export mode, grab that and just jump back eight bars. But if you want to do it all on here, well, I could just go beat jump. So I've got beat jump. Let's go here, that's C, that's the eight bars there. So I go back eight, maybe 16, so hit that twice. Then to hit a memory cue, so I hit Q to put that and then to save it on here. That's why it's easier in, beat, in um, export mode, but here I go memory cue and I can go memory, okay? Then, if I wanted to put, where did I put, I put C there, so let's say I go here, I'm up there, okay, go to beat jump, okay, we've got C32, if you're not seeing that screen, just be mindful of these arrows here, see? There's probably there for you, so we just take that over to 32, then it's there, which is this button here, and I'm gonna go back 8, 16, then we go Q, and then I go here, memory, memory, okay? So now let me show you that then as an actual mix then. That's what we just did, but now this is, I'm like, oh wow, I, I liked it. I wanna do that mix. So. so let's go back before, there's my mix out cue. Oh, I could take sync off now, that was more for prep. Got the tree. One, two, three, go. And now I'm teasing it over the end. It's better. So you've got little elements, the new one coming through. This is why I'd mix like this live. We could maybe add, I don't know, let's just put it on. I 
I'm going to give you some options now of what parts I may try mixing together in the description below. So you can actually start playing around with this straight away. But all in all, using hot cues to experiment and mess around with your transitions, it brings a fresh way of looking at music. And the best thing about it is, it's like a ton of fun actually. Like, you know, you can really get carried away with it. It's gonna help you to build momentum. It's easy to do and you can get instant results. So what are you waiting for, man? Grab 20 tracks now, put hot cues on the main changes and then mess around with what transitions work. Now you're gonna be surprised how much fun this is gonna be. And you're gonna find cool combos quickly. And then when you find combos that you like, put them in an order, apply your usual mix in and mix out points. And basically that's gonna give you, like I said, more time to mix in, which is especially advantageous when playing live. So remember, hot cues to find your transition points, mix in and mix out point 16 bars earlier to just give you that time when playing live to finesse it and come across like a champ.